Good morning, everyone. I, I'd like to thank you for coming to, to the um, final in the series of the Lyricist Preservation Town Hall. As you can see by the um, slide, I wasn't a bit, this isn't the pithiest title ever, but I think it explains what we're doing today. So welcome to how practicing professionals can get hands-on experience in, in digital curation. And before we go any further, I have to thank the National Endowment for the Humanities for helping us fund this, for allowing us to have this series, and um, for helping us get some great speakers. To, and I hope you've found this series useful, and um, hopefully we'll get to do this again. Sorry, didn't get te my technology together. If you're, for those of you online, um, to participate in the chat, you need to go to the Today's Meet, uh, we, or excuse me, Today's Meet website. This was the link that was on the opening screen for you. If you didn't follow that link to the chat, please feel free to do so now. Um, and we will pop this screen up again with this URL a few times, but go ahead and, um, so it's todaysmeet.com slash lyricists. Oh, and I also wanted to thank Georgia Tech for helping us do this and for all the tech people that you guys can't see that I actually can't see either because they're in a different room for helping us make this happen. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity for us to be here. So let's get started. As practicing professionals, it can be difficult to obtain the education and experience needed to advance skills and your career opportunities. In reading and discussion, of acquiring, curating, and managing digital collections and digital content can only go so far. We really need to get to experiment with tools and, and workflows and just see how other people are doing things. Learning theories provide a great base, but we really need hands-on experience. That's what comes next, and sometimes this is difficult to get. Graduate school programs and intern off can offer internships, but where do you go when you're a working professional, when you've already got a job, to do, a job to do and no more time to go back to school? Where can we gain that experience and try out new tools? For some, there is the possibility of a focused residency, stepping away from your workplace and immersing yourself in digital curation projects in an active library, museum, or archives. But for many, uh, stepping away from a job and home is not an option. So what opportunities might be available? What kind of training best fits your situation? We have three wonderful speakers today who are going to talk about the realm of the, the, that spectrum of, of different possibilities and pos possible opportunities to participate. And I realize now that I didn't actually, I did today, even introduce myself. I'm Alex Benchard. I'm with Lyricist. I'm the Preservation Services Librarian there. So I will be moderating today. and. Um, and helping the speakers along the way, if I can. And so this is the agenda that we're going to follow. Um, I don't know that we're going to make it all the way to 1230, but we won't go past that point. Uh, the, we will, after each speaker, we'll have the opportunity for a Q&A. So as I said, we will have um, someone moderating the text chat at the whole time. We also have someone in the room who will help us with the questions in person. So feel free. Um, those of you online to, to put those questions forward. As you can see from this agenda, we're going to take a break halfway, well, not halfway through, but nearly halfway through. And so I know on, for those of you participating on the web, that might seem a little odd, but that's your opportunity to get up and walk around too. <laughs> get up from behind, the, behind that computer. Go look at the sky. You know, go stand outside for a minute. And then um, we'll resume. We'll have one speaker after that. And then our three speakers will participate in a panel. And again, uh, we'll take questions from the room, questions from the virtual room, and really do, as, you, as we go through this morning, um, you know, come up with some questions or just if you have ideas, suggestions, thoughts. Um, that's what the panel discussion is all about. Whoops. There we go. So, our first speaker today is George Colburn, and he is, I'm going to read this directly, is the Executive Program Officer for the Associate Library for, Libra, excuse me, for the Associate Librarian for Strategic Initiatives, Chief Information Officer, and for the Office of Strategic Initiatives, that's OSI, at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Did I get all, is that all the rules? Yeah, but we, don't, we haven't had one for two years, so you could have left all that out. <laughs> 
<laughs> I lied. So this is George Colburn, and um, this doesn't. This is all wrong. Um, among his responsibilities, <laughs> Mr. Colburn leads the development of the um, Digital Preservation Education Outreach Initiative, and he's. Well, he'll tell you about the program that he's been he's been working with, and Mr. Colburn comes with the background of, of nursing and and care and, and attention to other people, and I think that that um, I know you said that this was working with the uh, Library of Congress was your retirement job, but I think that 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 leads well into this. So, without any more of me getting the wrong information, let's have George Colburn come on up. <laughs> 